Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Sunday, which means another Nod Watches, and also, I'm doing this with my neck for some reason. For some reasons. I was promised reasons if I did this by myself just now. It actually kind of hurt my shoulder a little bit. Either way, it is Sunday, which means another Nod Watches, which means more Japanese My Little Pony, which means we are now watching, uh, a... I've actually for I've actually forgotten the the Paris Sprite episode, Swarm of the Century, right? Is is that is Swarm of the Century? Yeah, that's it. Swarm of the Century. That's that's the name. In a Japanese Uru, which has a lot of Pinkie Pie Uru and uh, and uh, and uh, Flutteru Shy Uru and uh, Twilight Sparkle Uru and 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 and, and stuff. Yes. Anyway, so uh, I've. This episode is like an episode where I'm like, kind of like, hey, it's a thing. I mean, the moral is... The moral can easily just be circumvented by, well, maybe you should have told us what you wanted all this shit for in the start, you stupid fucking pink horse. Because Pinky was withholding information. So the lesson's good, but the way they went about it wasn't very good. And I'm wondering how the Japanese are going to handle loads of monsters eating shit. Because, you know, that seems just like a regular day. Like, you're Japanese, you walk out your house, you walk out, and you're like, Oh, shit, it's Tuesday. There's going to be monsters attacking again. Fuck! And then you, and then you climb in, then you climb in your, you climb in your, your small, absolutely tiny car, and you drive to the hentai factory. And that's where you work. And then you get covered in soap and have girls rub against you. And that's life in Japan. Anyway, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, boop. <coughs> I'm gonna cough. <coughs> Yo, have a seat. Wait, what? How, where did they cut out the line where she's like, Thank you, Squirrel, but that's wrong! Fuck off! Also, that thing is still the devil. That's racist. You made a friend. Look, I killed it. Why did she have that bucket of apples? Was that her lunch? If so, Fluttershy has eaten problems, girl. Oh, got that. But it's just... Fluttershy... Watching that again made me... Also, that was very obvious when she told the squirrel to fuck off and is like, Squirrel, this is the wrong thing! God! Like, why would they cut that out? Are they just, are they just cutting out just... Have they just been doing that for the past episode? I just never noticed. You cut shit out of my Fluttershot, I'm gonna notice. Like, last time they cut out the, I'm a year older than you. I didn't notice at the time because my brain filled it in. Ugh. I want the chance to call out the- Okay. The- The quizzes of- Sizzy! This song, I still don't understand it. This song is fucking weird. Why does it say stuff just like this? I'm trying to fit the song. Why, why, why do they make this song? It sounds like it's for magical girls. It's also incredibly goddamn long. Jesus. She always say ga. Hi, hi, hi. Utai desu. Goddamn. How long was that? How long is was that? Like, yes, yeah. It took me about two minutes to get started, maybe a minute for that. That was like a full minute and a half, I think. Munch, munch, panic! Really? That is the dumbest fucking title. Princess Celestia requires a book fort. 
ちょっとでも大事部屋中ピカピカにしたいのにちっとも終わってないじゃない本を読むと you... Do it one at a time you fucking egghead どこも完璧にしなきゃ時間を無駄にできないあのさこうやって言い合いなんかしてたんでいつまでたっても片付かないと思うポイントスパイクそうよねじゃあ Now beat the shit out of him Yeah, fuck you, dragon. Fuck you. Hey, it's Colgate. She's like, mm, mm, mm. Welcome, a princess, Celeste. Okay, so they cut out Twilight reading it and they just put a big circle around it. This is where they fucked up. This is where they fucked up in English. That was weird. I was wondering how they were going to handle that. If they were just going to hastily Photoshop the Japanese over it. Mrs. Keki. Top Keki. But Pinky keeps eating them. Uh, it is literally spot on. Japanese Pinkie Pie, why you do this? Look how far I can slide. Psst, you fat piece of shit. I found something out near the suicide forest, and it wasn't a corpse this time! Also, this implies that they vomited in her hair. I like to imagine when Fluttershy found out how they spawned, she ran home and she's like, Ew, 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 Jesus, I'll never be clean! I will never be clean! A munch bug. A munch bug. A munch bug. The best trombone impression. Munch bug, though. Why? That's you! It's not I want it. Wow, they turned it from I need to I want. Man, they're really, they're really hiding Dash's uh, psychological, psychological uh, handicaps here. I, I have parasites in my hair. And Twilight goes and is like, ew, ew, never be clean, never be clean. <laughs> she just shaves her hair off. Moshi Moshi. Moshi Moshi Moshi, Pinkie Pie Desu. Well done, Spiky Coon. I will no long I will no longer sacrifice you to the demons today. Spike should just eat that motherfucker. So see, Spike is a dragon. He's the only one there who would eat like meat, so he should just be like, ah! No. Because for him, they just be like little bits of popcorn chicken, just grab him like, ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Spike Coon? Talk about eye candy. Don't feed them after midnight! God damn it, Spike, the first rule! And now you suffer! Stupid dragon. Yes, dust at them, Twilight. Dust at them. He's carrying them in a basket. 
And Twilight just scattered them. Twilight, you incompetent girl. Hey, munch bugs. <laughs> Rainbow dude. Dizzy though. Sit. Genitals are now canon, by the way, because of that. I like how Rarity's first instinct is to enslave them. By the way, Rarity went about this... Like, Rarity's only issue is that they reproduce by vomiting. Right? Like... Yeah. Rarity had them enslaved. She had them doing her work for her. So I don't get like... And her only issue is that they vomit and make more of them? If they vomit, she has a bigger workforce. She has a bigger workforce, she can basically automize her dressmaking. Nah! Rarity has no... Rarity has no... No purpose in hating these things. They are her perfect slave race. Rarity's like, ugh, stupid pink horse! Is at this point that Rarity should have been, I'll take them, I'll enslave the motherfuckers. And then maybe in like a season and a half, we, we see a armed revolution. Pleading, crying, begging, all the things you do to stop a hostile takeover, slave rebellion. And that was the last we saw Princess Celestia. Long live the king. Seriously. Rarity, you have no... That's why. Yes, force the apple horse to do it for you. Force the mud pony to do it. Yeah. Goddamn unicorn racists. Please don't say yeehaw, Japanese people. You can't do it. I can't do it. And... And, and my people invented the English language, and I can't do it. The big ball! Kick that motherfucker! Ganbate! You gotta have maracas. You gotta have the maracas, otherwise this will never work. <laughs> oh, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie is the, is the true antagonist, because she had the solution the entire time, but she never just sat down and talked about it. And off into the suicide forest. Hopefully the bugs will realize where they are and just commit seppuku. Fluttershy, you fucked up. Bye bye, hat. Oh, 
<laughs> so kawaii though. Wasn't the English line call in the weather patrol? I'm going to... I'm going to drop a nuclear bomb on them. Get in there, hurricane, motherfuckers. Surprise. And Applejack's hat was never seen or seen or heard of again. And that's how Rainbow Dash got decapitated. It's no use. It's a failure. <laughs> Japanese is so damn formal. Oh my god. I was trying to kill Rainbow Dash. Isn't that what you guys wanted? We need a blood sacrifice to take away the power sprites or munch bugs, whatever the fuck they're calling them. Stupid pink horse. No point in talk to her. People die when they are killed. Maybe if you explain what you're doing, you stupid pink horse. No! My cake! No! Yes! Nothing will survive! Save the apples! To make them hate food. Starve them to death! That's how you cure- that's how you solve it. Just- just starve them. Nah, fuck that shit. I'm out. You know what be taste really good now, dog? A bucket! Yeah! Screw that apple, I'm gonna eat the bucket. Seriously, god damn it, purple smart. You 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 suck. Yeah, you suck, purple smart. Don't eat your dr That's what you get for not paying them slave to for paying them slave wages, which is to say nothing. See, this could have been all solved if Pinky had explained herself, or Rarity had just enslaved all of them. <laughs> Punk to the rescue, though. Mmm. The eating the right- what? I still don't understand that. I completely forgotten about that until now. Oh my god. Oh yeah, actually yeah, maybe they should have done that as well. Take that shit to Zakora. Maybe Zakora. I don't remember if Zakora says anything. But the kawaii monster. Uh. You're fucked. Basically, that's the chorus speak for you fucked. Ah. Uh. I, I don't. Uh, I kind of just want to dub over that scene and just have Zakora say, You fucked up. You fucked now, girl. Nothing gonna happen. Except you die. We're making another Ponyville over there in one minute. <laughs> the house is like. I like how that house was like, I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> 
Stupid pink horse. She just said what you were gonna do in the first place. God. Fucking pink horse, man. Celestia is like, Yo, I heard there was a parade! Yo, I heard there's a parade, Desu! Yeah! <laughs> it's been too long since I said that. Also, question. Pinky knew what a knew what a munchbug or parasprite was. Zakura knew. Celestia doesn't know. And damn near everyone else doesn't know. Twilight Sparkle. The resin a uh, uh, this hurts my brain. I'm gonna continue talking after the thing has ended. Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's a it's a parade. Nothing weird is going on here. You you guys, you killed Philadelphia. No, we just killed everyone. Mm -hmm. That the stupid pink horse needs to tell me when she knows something I don't. That's what she learned. Also, that's a different- that's actually a different moral. A different moral is- Oh, no, that's the same moral, they just worded it dumb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, man, just... Philadelphia is destroyed. Also, they spelled it with a PH instead of an F. Yeah, you guys. Yep. They spelled it as, like, as if they were spelling Philadelphia. No, the princess, nah. The princess is gonna get there and be like, What the fuck are these things? I don't know what these are. Pinky, you didn't explain shit. Pinky, you didn't explain shit. You was in the wrong here, girl. Everyone's in the wrong. No one's in the right here. Mm. No, the princess knew. The princess is like, man, that's why Sparkle is goddamn incompetent. That's why Sparkle is incompetent. I don't even know why. And there's a trombone. Pinky expected this. So she... Pinky expected it, so she's like, Yeah, I'm gonna need a trombone so I can do that wah wah. Wah 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 wah. She's also from a weird place called Zebrabwe. I get my blood diamonds from there. Punka Pie! Fuck! I'm just gonna keep saying Pinkie Pie every time and then hope I'm correct. Okay. Let's turn off the shitty end credits that don't make sense. So, what I've been saying, my main problem with this episode has always been. Pinkie Pie never explained shit! And Pinkie Pie is being dumb. Oh, so I'm gonna burp. Oh, I had fried chicken earlier. Fried chicken, very bad, to, very bad to have before you start recording. That's just a word to the wise. Never eat fried chicken and then record something. Never ends up well. Ah, um, anyway. Like, if Pinkie had explained, like, yo, okay, look, this is what I need. I need a tuba, I need a flute, I need a trombone, I need cymbals, I need an accordion, and I need a trumpet. And I can solve this problem, right? See, these Parasprats, they, they all have a love for polka and one-man bands, right? So, if I put on a one-man band, I can lead them right out of here, girl, before this shit gets out of hand, right? It's like, that's all Pinky had to do. She had plenty of chances before the shit went tits up. 
And yeah, and then it's episode over five minutes. Or alternatively, we all seen that Rarity found a way to enslave them. Why don't just give them all the Rarity? Have Rarity become like a, like you just start an empire. Rarity starts an, a clothing empire. That should be the title. Rarity starts a clothing empire with slave labor. I mean, because they're bugs. Bugs don't have rights. Uh, anyway, and they cut out a lot of... They, they, they're getting weird with the cuts. They're not cutting out anything major. It's all, like, small, like, one lines. Like, you know what I mean? It's all, like, small, like, little one-off things that you barely notice, like, until afterwards. Because I'm thinking, like, there are a lot of lines in there that I remember being a lot longer or just existing differently. But it's, like... They're not there. They're either not there. They're cut short. It's weird. We they're getting weird with their cuts. Like it's hard to pin down exactly what's been cut. But I know stuff is missing because they've got that fucking minute, minute and a half opening, and then the bullshit My Little Pony TV at the end. It's it's incredibly dumb. It's incredibly dumb, and they need to stop doing it. Uh, either way, everybody. As always, I'm Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe. We got. Uh, leave any suggestions for games, for games, videos, or anything you want me to analyze. Let's watch, let's play, let's react, let's do whatever. Down in comments. Um, and did I say like, comment, favorite, subscribe? If, if not, then I just did. And I will see you a round, everybody. Because I'm forgetting what the next episode is. So I won't be saying that title, but you'll know what it is when I get to it. Okay, okay.